SpaceX, founded by Elon Musk, has finally decided to make a fresh partnership with Saudi and UAE-based investors, a move that will speedily rank SpaceX as the most valuable company in the United States. And not just that, since the Saudi partners are billionaire figures who influence most of the policies of the Arab nation, Elon Musk will have an edge to spread the wings of Tesla and SpaceX around Arab nations, and that will be a turnaround for the general use of the most exotic Tesla EV across the Arab nation. How will this happen, and why? Why has Elon Musk decided to make this suspicious move to partner with the Arab nation? Or is this one of the propagandas that is raving on Twitter? Let's explore more details about this in today's video. Saudi Arabia is an established kingdom that is proven to have the largest petroleum reserves and the second greatest in the world, while its measured natural gas reserves are the fourth largest in the world. Because Saudi Arabia is currently one of the top countries that exports the most petroleum across other nations, it is sometimes referred to as a petrol state in the media. Hence, powerful investors from this side of the world will obviously have the financial capability to lift any business from the mud to the sky. And fortunately, some prominent investors in Saudi Arabia have decided to join forces with Elon's space company to raise space travel to another level. This is a great step for the Starship to break out of ridiculous financial barriers and reach orbit as soon as possible. The investors in question are Saudi Arabia's investment fund and an Abu Dhabi-based company that is preparing to engage in a multi-billion dollar funding round for Elon Musk's SpaceX, citing powerful Saudi billionaires interested in the investment. And from this funding will skyrocket SpaceX to rank as the most valuable rocket manufacturer at around $128 billion and also effectively build SpaceX as one of the largest privately owned companies far ahead others in multi-billion dollars funding. According to two of the sources used by the American Technology News Outlet, investors were informed by SpaceX and Morgan Stanley, the organizers of the ongoing funding round, that Saudi Arabia's water and electricity holding company, which is a part of Saudi Arabia's public investment fund, PIF, and Al Dhabi from the United Arab Emirates were all involved in the funding round. However, it was disclosed in January 2023 by Investopedia that SpaceX will receive $750 million in a new round of funding, valuing the rocket and satellite internet altogether at $137 billion. On the 23 sub rd slash sub of March, Musk tweeted not true responding to the report. Elon Musk seems to deny the Saudis' interest when he denied the founding agenda and stated that the move is found is just a propaganda and there is no common ground that has been set between Saudi Arabian investors and SpaceX. Don't forget that Elon Musk is known for playing around on Twitter and his favorite toy almost put him on a detrimental trial for a scandal that began in 2018 and was related to his use of Twitter, and he has to defend his statement in a court in San Francisco. Musk's tweets from August 2018, in which he claimed that he had secured finance to take Tesla private, are at the center of the trial. His tweets sparked a stock frenzy, which many of the automaker's shareholders believe caused them to lose all of their investment in the company. Musk made it clear in court that it was impossible to relate Tesla's stock price to his tweets, and that tweeting was the most democratic way for him to disseminate information. He also said that it was difficult to link his tweets to the price of Tesla's shares. Musk also tried to make people understand that just because he always makes sensational tweets doesn't mean that people should take it seriously. In his words, he said, just because I tweet about something doesn't mean people believe it or will act accordingly, he said in front of a nine-person jury. The class action lawsuit was brought on behalf of shareholders who owned Tesla stock during the instability in 2018, alleging that Musk used his platform to commit fraud. How did all of these things start to happen? What happened in the year 2028? Musk tweeted on August 7, 2018, that he had secured funding for a $72 billion buyout of Tesla and that he would take the company private for $420 per share. This was more than four years before he bought Twitter. After a few hours, he sent out a second tweet that many people think the deal sound like it was about to happen. Investors have shown their support. The only thing that makes this uncertain is that it depends on how the shareholders vote, Musk wrote on Twitter. At the time of the tweets, Tesla's stock was doing badly and was one of the most heavily shorted stocks on the market. The company was also having a lot of problems with production. The company's stock prices went up right away after Musk's tweets, and they kept going up for 10 days until Musk said there would be no buyout. When Tesla's shares went up so much, it made short sellers very likely to lose a lot of money. 
Riyadh played a role in a lawsuit with Musk's Tesla company, where investors sued Tesla after they claimed that statements made by the CEO in 2018 caused them to lose money. Saudi interest in Musk's SpaceX is a reflection of the role Riyadh played in the lawsuit. According to the New York Times, Elon Musk made a sensitive statement in federal court in January when he said that PIF had unequivocally sought to take Tesla private. This was an injury statement that put investors who bought Tesla shares in tension of losing out. But Musk countered and claimed that he had not misled or misspoken about his plans to take Tesla off the stock market in 2018. It became clear that a deal wasn't going to happen, and it may never have happened. Musk paid $40 million to settle with securities regulators, who also asked him to step down as Tesla's chairman. Both Musk and Tesla were charged with civil securities fraud by the Securities and Exchange Commission, and each had to pay a $20 million fine. Not long after the buyout mess in 2018, Tesla started making more cars, and its shares went up as a result. The company was making so many cars that its stock went up again, making Musk the richest person in the world in 2021. He lost that spot when he bought Twitter last year, but he is still one of the most powerful billionaires in the world. One the horizon, Saudi Arabia is not a newbie to the space race. Both Saudi and the UAE have invested so much in launching their space industries in the past years and also partnered with other private space agencies. Even as early as the 1st of January 2023, the UAE has successfully sent its second astronaut into space using the SpaceX Dragon capsule named Endeavour. This 2023 mission is expected to take the Emirati astronaut to the ISS and they are going to spend the next six months there. And this mission will break the Arab record as the longest Arab space mission in history, according to the Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center. Aside its long-term plan for economic and social growth, the United Arab Emirates has declared the space sector as one of its highest priorities for the next half-century. According to the UAE Space Agency, the Arab nation have spent almost $6 billion on space-related operations between 2015 and 2021, and the number of contractual agreements for space services soared by 40% in 2020. Saudi Arabia has announced that it will be sending its first female astronaut, Rihanna Barnawi, along with fellow Saudi Ali al Karni, into space this year for a 10-day mission to the space station, according to the country's government news agency. Saudi Arabia is looking to follow the lead of the United Arab Emirates with its space endeavors. Now it seems almost all the capable countries are not look up to build a spaceport up there in the sky. According to the Eurogulf Information Center, the National Strategy Vision 2030 of Saudi Arabia calls for the country to engage in space travel and to construct an ecosystem surrounding the industry. This strategy also calls for the formation of partnerships, which attracted an investment of 8 billion rials, amounts to about $2.13 billion into the industry. Thus, we should be all set to expect a surprising space project from Arab in the near future. Do you think Saudi Arabia has any chance to succeed in space this time around? While handling this, Elon Musk has just canceled Starship Orbital launch for this reason. Click on the video to know why.